perfect. Wait, something's missing. I don't. I just, uh, wait. Maybe if I go back and play the first Sonic game, I'll better understand how to use this Chaos Emerald. I got work to do. Greetings and salutations, and welcome to Toka. Bite sized. We're the next step in our journey to fully completing the Sonic's Genesis collection is the namesake, Sonic himself. The blue blur, the fastest thing alive, the impless trigger, the speed demon, the big blue, the blue rat, pin cushion, the faker, li little blue savior. Th that that got. That got really dumb, really fast. The Sonic game we are playing today in particular is the one that started it all. The original Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Genesis. Everyone has a ton to say about almost every Sonic game ever made, but not this one surprisingly enough. Is it because it's just so good it goes without saying? Or is it because it's so bad we all just chose to forget about it? Well, today we are going to find out. And here we are, Sonic the- Whoa! -ho! Just gonna jump right into it? Just no warning? No start screen? Nothing? Okay, the game's just like, Hey! It's Sonic! Just do it, punk! There are only six zones in Sonic the Hedgehog. Green Hill, Marble Zone, Spring Yard, Labyrinth Zone, Starlight, and Scrap Brain Zone. The first, of course, is Green Hill Zone. A really well-designed first area, in my opinion. The development team spent six months on this one zone just to get it right. And it really shows. The level design is wonderful and allows for multiple paths to be taken. The backgrounds are pretty detailed and beautiful, and it properly shows the player the mechanics of the game. Unfortunately, this is the only good thing about the original Sonic the Hedgehog. Now don't turn off this video and start yelling at me in the comments just yet. I have some legitimate reasons as to why I don't think this game stands the test of time. So sit down, get yourself some popcorn, pour yourself a glass of your favorite soda, and let's begin. The first major thing missing from this game is the spin dash, which wasn't implemented until Sonic 2. It's almost a necessity for Sonic games though. When you're stuck at the bottom of a loop or lose your momentum, the spin dash is essential in order to quickly traverse throughout the levels. Without it, the player is forced to stopping, walking as far back as the level allows them to, and slowly running back to where they need to go. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's definitely a chore to say the least. The second thing that is missing from the game is Super Sonic, aka one of the best completion bonuses of all time. You can't get him in this game. You can, however, collect six Chaos Emeralds, but it doesn't do anything except give you a slightly different ending. But more importantly, the special stages themselves that you have to play in order to get the Emeralds suck so bad. They are these weird pinball levels where the whole world is tilting and you just have to deal with it. Nope, I'm out. Green Hill Zone is a very well designed zone, and even Marble Zone is actually pretty fun and interesting. Unfortunately, the other four zones are so lazy and awfully executed. None of them are memorable whatsoever. 
Do you remember Labyrinth Zone? No! Why would you? It's so bland and boring. What about Starlight Zone? Oh, you mean the one with green floors, black walls, and white dots? Of course I remember that one. How could I forget? And don't even get me started on the level design. I don't want to be one of those guys who say, Ooh, this Sonic game sucks because you can't go fast. But... This Sonic game sucks because you can't go fast. In fact, you have to play the game in a slow crawl. The levels are designed so that pitfalls and traps are around every corner. So you always have to be aware, meaning playing the game like you're dissecting a frog. And it only gets worse in the underwater parts. Just look at it. Just... Oh, oh my... Are you, are you kidding me? And worst of all, each zone is three acts long as opposed to the two acts in all later installments you get so sick of each zone by the third act and because the developers had to make three instead of two the result became some of the most uninspired dull levels in the series with almost every act reusing the same parts of the levels two or three times in a level however there are one or two redeeming qualities like the music is decent especially the boss music Man, I would totally get into a fight with this music. And it's also really funny how Sonic looks super annoyed when you aren't moving. You're too slow! You're too slow! You're too slow! And yes, a lot of these complaints can be boiled down to just get good, but why would I want to spend the time to get good when I'm not having any fun? And that's the original Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, don't get bummed just because I thought this game was bad. I'm gonna review nearly every Sonic game ever released in the near future. Just because I feel like the series hasn't been judged fairly as of late, so I'm wanting to go back to every game in the series and give them my definitive thoughts to see which ones are good and which ones are actually bad. Because my opinion is law. Remember that. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and as always, please consider subscribing to my channel, The Toka Show, and giving that bell a ding a ling ling so you are notified for whenever my new videos come out, which, by the way, is every Tuesday and Saturday. Also, follow my Twitter. We have fun over there, right guys? Right? No? Nah, that's fine. I have fun. That's all that matters, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go.